Hi everyone, I am Dr. Dave and this is Frugal Foot. It is time to start a series on arch supports. Now, this particular video is simply an introduction to this series and in it I hope to um, clarify what I hope to achieve. I'm also going to teach you how to get an idea of how high your arch is. So please watch this video first before going forward and watching the actual arch support review videos themselves. So there's a couple of ground rules that I'd like you to understand first. And the first one is, is that there's two types of arch supports. There are over-the-counter arch supports, which is what we are going to review. And then there are custom arch supports which we as podiatrists call orthotics. And I'm not going to review orthotics in this video series. Um, second, it's very important for you as the consumer to understand that no over-the-counter arch support is truly going to give you 100% arch support. It simply can't because you're not the model for the arch support company. Arch support companies are faced with two major dilemmas when they build arch supports. The first is they want to provide you with the best supporting arch support that they can, but they don't know how high your arch is. And even if just by sheer luck they happen to build an arch support that fit your arch perfect, the second problem that they run into is, well, they don't know how much you weigh and they don't know how flexible your foot is. They don't know if you're going to go running with it or just walking. Maybe you're going to be walking on hard concrete surfaces or maybe you'll be on the golf course all day. So there's no way for the lab that builds these arch supports to actually calibrate the device to be supportive when it's supposed to be and then flexible when it's supposed to be. So these are these two issues really cause a lot of confusion for the consumer when they go out and purchase arch supports because, well, number one, there's so many different arch support companies. And then even within the companies themselves, there's so many different variables. There's so many different arch supports that you, you've got to be just scratching your head going, which one do I buy? Now, maybe you happen to have a good shoe store company that you trust where there is a good salesperson that knows how to evaluate your foot and understands their arch supports really, really well and you feel comfortable working with them, that's great. But for the rest of you that are out there, hopefully this video series will, will help empower you with information where at least you have a chance at finding an arch support that will help you satisfy your goals. Now before we actually get to the different arch supports, um, let me help you try to get a better grasp at how high your arch is. Now you will probably recall when you were a child maybe walking through the sprinkler on the sidewalk and then you can look back at your footprint on the sidewalk. Maybe your neighbor would come over and you would joke with your neighbor and say, look at my arch is higher than yours. But that really didn't tell you how high your arch was. And that's what you really need to know. So when you happen to go somewhere and and they have you stand on one of those ink pads or maybe you walk on one of those gait analysis, analysis machines. That's really, really nice to look at, but it doesn't tell the observer or you how high your arch is. So here is an informal way, and this is an official way, this is an informal way for you to just get an idea of how high your arch is. What you can do is stand on the floor in your bare feet, Put your hand up against the wall just for some stability and then using your right foot for example just raise your right heel now when you do this keep the ball of your foot and your toes on the floor you may be surprised at how high your arch really goes and for a lot of people when they look at their feet they're always looking at it weight bearing and the arch is always down then well in this situation now it's no longer weight bearing and your arch is elevated. Now you left the floor behind when you did that and so you're going, to need a, you're going to need a straight edge underneath your foot connecting the ball of your foot to your heel to have a bottom for, for reference. Once you put a straight edge there, if you wanted to, you could actually take a ruler and measure from the straight edge to the top of your arch and this will give you again an informal 
measurement because you're only really measuring the inside of your arch, not the middle of your arch or the outside of your arch, but it just gives you an idea of how high your arch is. And this actually can be valuable because some of the companies actually label on their box how high their arch support is. So you can kind of match it up against your arch type. True to, true to my nature with, this, with, with my videos, I'm only going to review products now that I am familiar with. There are a lot of arch support companies out there and um, if I don't review them, I may not have gotten to that video, video yet and making it or I simply don't have experience with that particular arch support company. So um, the videos that I make are going to be of arch support companies that I am familiar with and the products within those arch support companies that I am familiar with. So with that being said, if you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. You can now watch the first in the series of videos on different arch supports and my reviews of them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.